Hi, this is Edward. I'm a senior undergrad at UCSB, and I'm applying for a PhD in applied math. Today, I'm going to talk about mathematics, but from a more life and happiness perspective. So life, to me, is a series of problem solving. The problem doesn't have to be big. For example, I want to sit. There's a problem. I found a chair. I sit. Problem solved. So, in our life, we do problem solving constantly, frequently. But problem solving is special in a sense that it brings us happiness. When you solve a problem, when you encounter a problem, you try to solve it, you can face two situations. One, <clears throat> you success. You solve the problem and you feel happy. Second, you, feel, you found challenge. The problem is rather challenging. You can't solve it. There's something to understand. But that's even better because then you can learn something. And after you learn, you feel a sense of accomplishment, a sense of more understanding and knowledge, brings you happiness. So problem solving inevitably leads to happiness. And that's why problem solving is so important, and that's why we study so much. Okay, now I'm going to introduce a way, not the only way, but a very effective way of problem solving. Consider a potato arbitrary potato. You throw up in the air, it rotates, motion rather complicated for them. And it's really hard to solve it analytically and every potato is different. It's not. So we simplify into physics into maybe approximate into uh, elliptical shape. So it's more generalized. But still physics is not flexible enough because in physics spherical object and elliptical object are different, cubic, different, a lot of different things. So we translate into mathematics a language, a perspective that is flexible enough that we can generalize, we can create homomorphism, isomorphism, that you can link things together. And then we can go back, specialize to physics. Now, although we start with an elliptical object, maybe we can come back, we can do a spherical object, a cubic, as well. And then we can go back, go back to the real world, we can throw a banana, we, can, we know the motion of orange as well. So this is a way of problem solving. And as an undergrad physics major, I touch all the five pieces. And I appreciate all the five pieces, but I found myself particular interest and good at those two steps. Translate physics problem into mathematics and generalize within mathematics. And that is why I want to pursue PhD in mathematics because I believe I will learn, I will develop those skills in PhD program. Why mathematics is so beauty? Well, maybe I can illustrate with uh, the definition of continuity in terms of topology. Maybe give, just give you a little sense of why it's so pretty. So, continuous is first introduced in real analysis and this is its definition. It is quite compact and with, with epsilon and delta and it's quite useful. However, this is very limited because we're in a Euclidean space or in a two-dimension space. So then we introduce metric space, we introduce distance. Maybe not we can introduce P norm instead of the regular distance. And then we define continuity in terms of a, epsilon, a delta ball and epsilon ball. This is much more generalized and it can use in more place. But we can go further. We can talk about topological space, just a space with open sets. And then we can define continuity purely based on the openness of the set and its pre image. This is very, very elegant. If you go through this process, it's very beautiful and very intelligent. And you learn so much and you can feel it within. When you study, you just appreciate and you, you become so passionate. Like, how can you create such a beautiful definition? It becomes almost artistic, I would say. So that's why I really like mathematics. And I want to be in a place because 
with intelligent people because I believe myself I'm smart um, but I'm not arrogant I, I'm open and I want to be in a place where I can meet people with similar kind and that's why I want to go to a really good institute talk to people learn from them and we communicate and then we make progress we make good impact in our life and in humanity and that's why I want to be a PhD student in applied math this is Edward thank you for listening